Welcome to this video, seven warning signs that your kidneys are toxic. In this video, we'll be discussing how to identify the signs that your kidneys are toxic and what you can do to prevent further damage. Do you ever feel tired or bloated? Do you experience frequent headaches or have difficulty concentrating? These could all be symptoms of a much more serious issue, toxic kidneys. When our kidneys become overloaded with toxins, it can cause a range of physical and mental health issues. It's important to recognize these warning signs so that you can take action before the problem gets worse. Toxins enter our bodies through food, air pollution, cleaning products, and other sources in our environment. Our bodies naturally detoxify themselves by filtering out these toxins through the liver and kidneys. However, when too many toxins accumulate over time, it becomes difficult for them to keep up with the demand which leads to an overload in toxicity levels within our body's organs. Did you know that kidney toxicity is one of the leading causes of chronic kidney disease? It is estimated that one in 10 people suffer from some form of kidney disease due to toxin overload. This makes understanding how to identify early warning signs even more critical for maintaining good overall health long-term. Here are some signs to look out for if you think your kidneys may be toxic. Number seven, dark urine. Consider your kidneys as the body's filtration system. They work tirelessly around the clock, removing waste and toxins from your bloodstream to keep you healthy. However, just like any hardworking machine, your kidneys can become overwhelmed and toxic, often reflected through changes in your urine color. If you notice your urine transforming from its usual light yellow hue to a darker yellow or even brown shade, it could be a potential sign of kidney toxicity. This darker color is generally due to the excessive waste buildup in the kidneys, as they're unable to eliminate these toxins effectively. This isn't simply a trivial detail, it's your body communicating a potential problem. A study published in the Journal of Nephrology in 2016 suggested that this change in urine color could be indicative of higher concentrations of urobilin, a breakdown product of hemoglobin, which can serve as a warning sign of kidney damage. More importantly, it's crucial to understand that this change could signify something more severe than just kidney toxicity. It could lead to conditions such as renal failure or infection if not treated promptly. It's comparable to an engine light flashing in your car. If ignored, the issue could exacerbate and lead to severe consequences. Therefore, it's essential to take these signs seriously and consult with a healthcare professional if you notice these changes. Doctors can provide the appropriate tests and treatments to address the problem, preventing it from escalating into a more serious condition. Remember, your body often provides cues about its health status. It's essential to be vigilant and respond to these signals to maintain optimal health. Your urine color is one such significant sign, so don't disregard its message. Number six, swelling in the feet and ankles. Swelling around your feet and ankles that doesn't recede even after rest or elevating your legs could be a telltale sign of potential kidney issues. Now let's dive deeper into the why and how of it. Think about your kidneys as your body's ultimate waste management system. But when this system isn't functioning as it should, things could go awry. And one such sign is unexplained swelling, medically known as edema. But how does this happen, you might wonder? Well, when your kidneys aren't up to speed, it could lead to fluid retention. Imagine this. The kidneys are like the dam controlling the fluid flow in your body. But when they're not working properly, it's like the dam has sprung a leak and fluid starts to accumulate in certain areas of the body. The waste that should have been eliminated gets trapped in your blood vessels, leading to increased pressure and fluid buildup in surrounding tissues, particularly in areas like the feet and ankles, especially after prolonged periods of standing or walking. Now imagine a day spent on your feet, hustling and bustling with no breaks in between, the constant pressure, coupled with an impaired kidney function, can cause fluids to accumulate in your feet and ankles, causing noticeable swelling. Throw in excessive salt intake from foods like chips or pickles, and the problem can become even more pronounced as salt encourages fluid retention. So, if you notice persistent swelling in your lower extremities, 
Don't just brush it off as fatigue or too much time spent on your feet. It could be your body signaling a deeper issue with your kidneys. Be sure to consult with a healthcare professional who can guide you through appropriate tests and treatment to address the issue. Number five, fatigue and weakness. Dealing with chronic kidney disease, CKD, often comes with a range of symptoms, but one that really hits hard is fatigue. Let's take a closer look at why this happens. Your kidneys are your body's silent workhorses, tirelessly filtering out toxins and keeping essential nutrients in check to keep your body cells functioning smoothly. But with CKD, this finely tuned system goes off kilter and your body cells can't operate at their best. This can lead to a feeling of extreme tiredness, causing you to feel sluggish and weak, even after a good night's sleep. Imagine charging your phone overnight, expecting it to be at 100% in the morning, but waking up to find it barely charged. That's what your body goes through with CKD. You may go to bed hoping to recharge, but you wake up still feeling drained. This ongoing fatigue can lead to a spiral of exhaustion unless the underlying issue is addressed. The good news? You're not without options. Medical attention can often help manage these symptoms. This might involve dietary changes or medications tailored to your specific condition and needs. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but a customized treatment plan that targets your unique situation. Remember, while treatment can provide relief and potentially slow the disease's progression, it's not a permanent cure. And that's okay. Managing a chronic condition is often about learning to navigate life with it, finding ways to enhance your quality of life, and focusing on what you can do rather than what you can't. So, even in the face of chronic kidney disease, it's essential to prioritize self-care and focus on your overall well-being. Keep in mind that your health matters, and it's worth the fight, every step of the way. After all, you are your own best advocate. Before we dive deeper into the remainder of our list, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you find this content valuable and informative. And while you're at it, if you haven't already done so, please click that subscribe button. By joining our community, you'll ensure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content packed with health insights and advice. Now with that said, let's venture onward on our kidney health journey. At number four, difficulty concentrating or thinking clearly. It's been recognized that those dealing with toxic kidney conditions can often experience difficulty concentrating. But why does this happen? Well, when your kidneys are not functioning properly, your body can struggle with the absorption of essential minerals and vitamins. This is similar to a car running low on fuel. It simply can't operate smoothly. This hindrance affects both physical and mental tasks. Your brain, which relies on a balance of these nutrients, might find it hard to keep its focus razor sharp. It's like trying to navigate through a foggy landscape. The view is unclear and confusing. According to a 2015 study in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, cognitive impairment, including difficulty in concentrating, was observed in 30 to 60% of patients with chronic kidney disease. What's more, the severity of this lack of focus can vary based on how advanced the kidney condition is. A 2018 study in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology found that patients with advanced stages of kidney disease showed higher levels of cognitive impairment. It's essential to understand these aren't just random issues, but potential warning signs of a more significant health problem. When these symptoms come to light, they shouldn't be brushed aside. Rather, they should be properly evaluated and monitored. Early intervention and treatment, as per a healthcare professional's guidance, are crucial. So, in the face of kidney toxicity, remember that changes in your ability to concentrate aren't just inconveniences. They're your body's way of telling you that your kidneys need help. Stay vigilant and take these signs seriously. After all, your health is the vehicle that drives your life, and it deserves the best care possible. Number three, shortness of breath. The buildup of excess fluids in your body is another significant symptom associated with kidney dysfunction. Now, you might wonder, how does that lead to breathing problems? Well, the answer lies in the intricate balance your body maintains under healthy conditions. 
Under normal circumstances, your kidneys efficiently filter out excess fluids from your bloodstream, and these are then expelled from your body as urine. But when your kidneys aren't functioning optimally, this balance gets disrupted, leading to an accumulation of fluids in your body. The excess fluid can exert pressure on different organs and systems, including your lungs. It's like trying to inflate a balloon while someone's continuously pouring water into it. Eventually, the balloon becomes overwhelmed. Similarly, as the fluid presses against your lungs, it can make it difficult for them to expand fully, leading to a sensation of breathlessness or difficulty breathing. A 2017 study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association noted a strong correlation between kidney disease and respiratory issues, including shortness of breath. So if you find yourself often struggling for breath without a clear reason, it could be your body's way of signaling an issue with your kidneys. It's essential to seek medical advice promptly under such circumstances. Remember, staying vigilant about these symptoms is a crucial step towards maintaining your overall health. Number two, nausea and vomiting. Experiencing feelings of nausea or even bouts of vomiting can be particularly distressing, and these symptoms could potentially be linked to toxic kidney conditions. Let's explore why. Typically, your kidneys are like your body's housekeepers, responsible for cleaning up waste and toxins from your bloodstream. However, when your kidneys are unable to perform their job effectively, these waste products can build up in your body. But why does this cause nausea and vomiting? As the level of toxins increases in your bloodstream, they can affect your digestive system. Imagine trying to cook in a kitchen filled with garbage. It's going to affect the overall process and probably make you feel sick. Similarly, this toxic overload can irritate the stomach lining and trigger the brain's vomiting center, leading to feelings of nausea or actual vomiting. Research supports this connection between kidney disease and gastrointestinal symptoms. A 2016 study published in the Journal of Nephrology showed that symptoms such as nausea and vomiting were prevalent in patients with chronic kidney disease. So, if you're frequently feeling nauseous or are vomiting without any clear cause like food poisoning or a stomach bug, it might be a signal from your body that your kidneys are struggling. Don't ignore these signs. Instead, seek medical advice to get to the root of the issue. It's always better to be safe and proactive when it comes to your health. Number one, chest pain or pressure. In severe cases, kidney toxicity can indeed manifest as chest pain or a feeling of pressure in the chest area. You might be wondering, what does my chest have to do with my kidneys? Let's connect the dots. Under normal circumstances, your kidneys act like a diligent cleanup crew, removing waste and excess fluid from your body. However, if your kidneys are struggling, they might not be able to do their job effectively. This can lead to a buildup of fluid in your body, and sometimes this excess fluid can press against various organs, including your heart and lungs. The fluid buildup around the heart is known as pericardial effusion, which can cause chest pain or discomfort. Similarly, fluid around the lungs, a condition known as pleural effusion, can also result in chest pain and difficulty breathing. A study published in the journal Circulation in 2016 found that kidney disease patients had a higher risk of pericardial diseases, including pericardial effusion. Another study in the American Journal of Medicine in 2015 found a similar correlation with pleural effusion. So while chest pain or pressure might seem unrelated to your kidneys, it could potentially indicate a severe complication of kidney disease. Therefore, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you experience unexplained chest discomfort or pain. As always, listening to your body and recognizing these signs early on can make a significant difference in managing your health. The warning signs of kidney toxicity can manifest in various ways, from changes in your urine color and swelling in your feet and ankles, to fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and feelings of nausea or vomiting. In severe cases, you might even experience chest pain or pressure due to fluid buildup around your heart or lungs. Each of these signs is your body's way of sounding an alarm, signaling that your kidneys might be struggling and need attention. But remember, 
These symptoms can also be associated with other conditions, so it's crucial to seek professional medical advice if you're experiencing any of these symptoms persistently. It's always better to be proactive when it comes to your health. Listen to your body and don't ignore the signs it's sending you. And remember, taking care of your kidneys is an essential part of taking care of your overall health. And with that, we've reached the end of this informational journey through the warning signs of kidney toxicity. If you found this video helpful, informative, or enlightening in any way, do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we drop more health-related content. Want to show some extra support? Consider using the Super Thanks feature. Your generous contribution helps us continue producing the informative content you enjoy. As always, thank you for tuning in. And remember, knowledge is the first step to staying healthy. Take care and see you in the next video.